this season that we're in right now, the Feast of Tabernacles, is one of my favorite times of the year. In Hebrew, we call this holy season Sukkot. It reminds the children of Israel how when they were in the wilderness journeying from Egypt to the Promised Land, they lived in temporary shelters or booths. That's what we call it, the Feast of Tabernacles. So in Hebrew, their houses singularly were called a sukkah, or plural houses, they were called Sukkot. So that's why we call this holiday in Hebrew Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. And every year today, Jewish people will build for themselves a little temporary house. It's made out of just very primitive material. It's, you know, nothing elaborate at all. It's, it's just something that you can put up in a short amount of time and then take down when the holy season is over. And when we go into our sukkahs or, or our sukkah as an individual, uh, uh, what we do is we remember how in the wilderness we had nothing but God. I mean, there was no insurance policies. There were no doctors. I mean, everything came from God directly. He put manna on the ground six days a week for 40 years. They drank water out of a rock. I mean, God took care of their every need. And so for me, when I go into my sukkah each year, my temporary booth, it reminds me how God is enough, that no matter what I face in life, God will be enough. And that's really encouraging and freeing. This holy day is also a time of celebration because we just got done celebrating, first of all, the Feast of Trumpets or Yom Truah, also known as Rosh Hashanah, which is a call to repentance. We begin to search ourselves during this time. And we go next then to the Feast of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, where we've humbled ourselves beginning at the uh, Feast of Trumpets, and now we've come to the next feast once again, Yom Kippur, and on Yom Kippur we're reminded how we can receive forgiveness from the Lord, and now that we've repented and have received forgiveness, we now come to Tabernacles, it's a time of rejoicing. So in addition to this feast day being a time where we recognize that God will meet all our needs and he's faithful and he will be faithful, we also celebrate in him because of forgiveness, restoration, and again, because he meets all our needs. This was one of the three times of year that the children of Israel were commanded to come to Jerusalem and present a special offering to the Lord. So I just want to give you, beloved one, an opportunity if you're feeling something in your spirit right now, some type of supernatural joy, some type of light and happiness kind of just arising up within you, that you feel impelled to present a special offering to the Lord right now and would like to do so through discovering the Jewish Jesus, just click the link that's associated with this video that you're watching, or you can go to discoveringthejewishjesus.com. Thank you for your love, beloved ones. God bless you, and shalom.